The federal government just passed the biggest climate bill that this nation has ever seen in the Inflation Reduction Act. It's got the potential to deliver a gigaton of emissions reductions. But more important than the big numbers is the transformation that's possible at the community level here in places like Chicago. This bill has billions of dollars to fund climate infrastructure, and we need to make sure that this money is taken in by Illinois, is used by the states to meet our carbon emission reduction goals. If those dollars are earmarked properly, um, they will accelerate all of the programs that we have planned. And so we are super excited about the dollars that are actually coming down the pipeline from the federal government. With Illinois' Climate and Equitable Jobs Act, We've got a lot of new resources for workforce development. We're trying to ensure that the green energy economy and the jobs in the, in the green energy economy um, go to everybody and are accessible to folks in all parts of the state and from all communities. And that really meshes well with uh, the priorities in the Inflation Reduction Act, which also includes workforce development funds and is really gonna create a springboard for the clean energy economy to grow and of course, nature-based climate solutions are really important to make sure that we're reducing our carbon emissions and making sure that conservation, open space, and recreation opportunities are equitably available throughout the state is one of our top goals as well. For us to take full advantage of it, we're gonna need communities stepping up. We're gonna need state and local leaders stepping up, investing alongside the federal government to make sure we can go as quickly as possible in the direction of a more sustainable and more equitable society.